Hi again, fellas, and welcome back to Quite With A Y. By now, when you hear that intro, you know you're about to listen to someone talk about themselves way too much. So if you all haven't heard recently, Overwatch 2, with the two in quotations, recently got effectively canceled. Sure, there is like an Overwatch 2 game and product that you can technically download and buy things from the shop, but it's not, it's not a 2. <laughs> when the multiplayer dropped on its own, we basically all agreed that it feels like the same game, like tuned up better, but it hasn't, it's not a new game. <laughs> what we were excited for is like the long-promised co-op and story aspect that has never been taken advantage of in Overwatch's world with like its stupid deep lore. F for what? <laughs> League of Legends gets TV shows for this shit. And they sacked it basically. They had to cut their losses and b said they're basically stopping all development to push it towards multiplayer. The I'll say the devs don't seem very happy about it either. And I very rarely, if ever, blame these kind of situations on the developers. I would say the game devs are almost like hurt the most by this because we didn't get something that we were excited for, but they don't get to finish something that they have been actively pouring their life soul into to for like how many years? Regardless, disappointment is all I feel when I play Overwatch, that's how it is, and it took me down on a memory lane of disappointment with this game. The footage you're watching right now is actually really, really old Genji footage that I recorded when I was first learning how to use OBS. I was not gonna play a match of this thing so you had relevant footage to watch while I talk about it. I downloaded it to screenshot a thumbnail that I probably didn't even use, and then I uninstalled it. But a lot of my disappointment in Overwatch comes from my time as a Genji player, and I was like literally just a Genji player for the most part. These are my hours from one character to my second most played. It's a life that I chose and it has been nothing but pain. For those of you who like actually enjoying the games they play or don't play Overwatch, if you're one, you're probably the other, let me give you some Genji made 101, some basics. Genji is a hit and run flanking hero. You're made of paper mache, so you gotta get in and out with your movement options, which Genji has a lot of. It's out of the characters that could literally just fucking fly. He probably had the most robust movement kit. He could double jump, he could wall run, he was generally floatier and lightweight, and he was really fast. He could deflect specifically bullets and solid projectile items with his deflect, and that was like his main defensive thing. And his counters were, if I recall, this might just be what I was dog shit against, were tanks and laser enemies. It's that kind of thing where you're not really aiming and clicking, you're more clicking and looking in the general direction. It's like you're kind of suggesting where the laser goes, and then it just latches onto an enemy because you're fucking dumb and it knows better than you. Probably spanks you in bed, you little fucking freak. Genji was low health, so he died when he went head on with stronger enemies. Like, that's not how you're supposed to use him. Well, either he died or he had really hardcore sex after being beaten. It depends if you follow the same AO3 tags as me. But perhaps his most important and consequential move though, like his most powerful ability, was being really fucking annoying. People looked down on Genji mains and saw them as pests since day one. Genji players are an oppressed minority in the Overwatch community, and it's well substantiated through our history. Uh, you spend so much time learning to play him and mastering his very high skill level play, I'm good at video games, all for that to mean nothing after a week, because they've completely changed how his moves and abilities function together, or worse, they made other characters stronger so they have more options and have a fighting chance? It's fucked up! He took skill, man, and people were mad that they died to better players, is my cope. In my brain, it was always that Genji took skill, and that when a good player is at a lobby, he's gonna give you a hard time, and then every other Genji player gets associated with his peak performance ever since. He definitely didn't need no changes, but the kind of beatings we took from the developers over the years just kind of feels like abuse, and I know what that feels like. Jeff Kaplan never really loved me. In fact, if you ask me, Genji has never once been meaningly buffed in the almost a decade of the hell that is Overwatch. Don't fact check, just trust the source that is my brain, because I said so. He got hit really early on with a patch in September 2016. That's like a few months after the game launched. Most people who have played Overwatch never knew this, but Genji used to be able to triple jump. He could double jump and then wall climb, and it would reset his ability to do another jump, so he could get like really high. Unfortunately, we were seen enjoying ourselves, and it was stolen from us. Genji's dash attack used to also not get stopped by traps where he'd like fly over it. I felt like a dart coming out of a nerf gun with how smooth I was flying. Ripped out of my arms like my firstborn child will be, except this was not given away willingly. They changed how his dash attack worked as well so you could no longer use it in a combo with his melee. And his ultimate, the big dragon blade that looks really cool, had its time reduced from 8 to 6 seconds. It's so fucked up man how they made getting play of the game where you kill every team member because of pure luck harder. I don't care about fucking game balance, I want dopamine hits. And all of these changes came at one time. It was traumatic. It was like the burning of Alexandria or deleting a Discord server that people used for file hosting services. I would have even been fine if the nurse got applied to every single other Genji player, except for me. Like, I feel like that's fair. I should get a pass because I'm like, cool, but yeah, everybody else should have those rules so they can't be as good at me as Genji. Now from there, if you were only reading the patch log, it would seem like we had a pretty uneventful few years after that. Like, we got left alone for the most part. The only real nerf we got for a while was Genji's deflect hitbox being lessened 
person so it would like send less stuff flying back at the person who shot it. Personally, I like my Genji as busted as possible, but it's whatever. The hits we withstood during those years dug a little deeper because they weren't just oppressive to us, like actively putting us down, but they showed us exactly how much better every single other person had it. In December 2016, Symmetra, a hard Genji counter because she shoots little fucking lasers out of her little fucking triangle gun, got a rework making her better and my life harder. They started early, man. This was the same year the game got released in. And it didn't stop there, man. In November 2017, Moira got added, a brand new character. Her ult shoots like crazy lasers that can't be blocked, and she has like buff and debuff moves for her normals. I like still kick and sob in my sleep thinking about some of those matches, man. Shit was awful. And that wasn't even the worst of it. Like, March 2018 was one of the most traumatic moments of my life, when Brigitte got added to the game. I have never learned how to say that bitch's name right, and I refuse to out of sheer disrespect. She was a new support hero who had decent, chunky health, had a shield, and a mape she would whip around and fucking get everything on her screen. In motion, it looked weirdly like the diagram of the nervous system in the penis. I'm not putting that on screen for obvious reasons, but check it out. Scientific education or whatever. And then, only after all of that, in May 2018, was when the deflect hitbox got nerfed. It didn't directly make the characters I've mentioned so far worse, it just made it so every other character was a tad more effective against us. All of that stacked on top of each other was like being circumcised a few years into puberty already. I would not try that shit if I were you, just not really a desirable experience. Even then though, beaten down as we were, we actually had hope. In December 2019, Genji's airmail count for his shurikens was upped from 24 to 30. In June 2020, damage per shuriken got increased, and the deflect ability now lasts longer and be canceled out of. It made me really think, oh my god, are we gonna have full citizen status? Nah, it was total blue balls. By the end of Overwatch 1, damage was tuned to still be above what it used to be, but the attacks were slower, and the Dragon Blade does even less damage now, and it costs more. My people will never be free. People have been mad about balance changes in the game before, so the devs know the drill. They tried to be reasonable and gave some comments and an explanation for why they made the changes they did. But what those guys failed to anticipate is that I would read those comments in a very mocking and condescending tone, completely invalidating anything they say. The shuriken damage increase doesn't sound like a lot, but it crosses a threshold or breakpoint against some enemy targets, enabling them to be eliminated with one less attack landed, give me a break. To help balance out this increased power for his primary weapon, we're reducing the damage of the Dragon Blade Ultimate, which is also a breakpoint against some targets when being damage boot. Are you kidding? That was worse than the Travis Scott apology, man. I just cannot believe that's real. I thought it was ropes for Overwatch 2 from the jump when I saw the new Genji design. It felt like every time I looked at him, I would recognize him less and less with time. It was like an old friend phasing out of your life through no fault of either of y'all. It just happens. Overwatch 2 was a visible design nerf, in my opinion, from the first game. I originally loved Genji because he was just like me, green, faceless, allegedly Asian, and had ridiculously huge ass cheeks. Now, not all of those are true. Not only was Genji's decorative cod piece for his robot cock stolen from him, they made him woke and liberal and told him to put on pants like pussies. This resulted in the cheeks, if not being literally gone, completely covered up for modesty. He looks like a paper bag back there, man. It was fucking despicable. I just cannot stand how big corporate video games game heads like Video Game Donkey keep making games less horny. It's fucked up. It's because of this kind of liberal mindset that I'm stuck using fat-ass character mods in Skyrim 12 years on. And you know what? While we're speaking about being horny, it's Overwatch. We all know what's going on there. I'm not even here to talk about horny for horny's reasons. I'm doing it for ship reasons. The lore for Genji was so good, and it made me so sad when it just didn't go any further at all, much less into my exact headcanon of exactly how this character's life should go. The obvious ship is with Mercy, and I'm fine with that one. Like, it's harmless. I've seen cute art of them together. I can tolerate it at least. The thing is, it truthfully could have been better because at one point, Mercy was going to be a dude. We had the chance for Genji to be one of two men kissing completely stolen from us. I don't know how you can hear that or think about that and not be outraged. Still, these are all just concepts. It happens. And the Mercy relationship was never 100% confirmed, so there was some ambiguity there. Also, because Mercy is Genji's doctor, that's kind of a conflict of interest to date your patient, so that's probably not too good. And my favorite ship in Overwatch is still Genyatta. <laughs> Listen, their backstories are so intertwined, man. It's so fucking poetic. That motherfucker raised Genji up at his lowest and taught him to love himself again. He's a smooth talker, buttery smooth voice, but he's also shorter than Genji. It's such like a little dynamic. 
you know? Their dialogue was so cute and like I loved the fan art and stuff, but Blizzard were cowards and wouldn't let the robots fuck each other. One of them's not even full robot, dog. Come on. I'll skip to around when Overwatch 2 launched. Uh, despite my better judgment, I did play it. And it actually seemed like I might be wrong for a split second about all of this. In Overwatch 1, the teams were set to 6v6 with two tanks, two support, two DPS. There used to not be any dedicated roles, but people would use three tanks and it was busted. And tanks were still kind of a problem, so they changed it in Overwatch 2 so that there's only one tank and it's 5v5 for teams. And even though Genji was still in his weekend castrated form, he was still a beast in that meta. It was almost like the old days had come back for one like last reunion tour before they retired. That feeling I got playing Overwatch at 16, I had found a little bit of at 22, and the game had barely even changed, technically. And one benefit of it basically being the same game was that we did get to keep all our old skins, so I was able to stare at Genji ass if I so chose. I don't know why, but I for some reason had this weird insistence on only ever playing Genji with a specific skin. It was the Summer Games 2016 Genji skin, Nihon I think, but the reason I liked it was because it had the color scheme of the Okami Wolf. I used that skin almost exclusively for years, including into Overwatch 2, so it was nice to be be able to have those cheeks back in hand. But come on now, we know how this story ends. Whatever's left of Overwatch 2 is still out there I don't really want to go back to, and they're not even pretending to make a game anymore, so I'm sure the multiplayer will still exist for a while, but it's kind of mask off at this point, like they're not even pretending to make a new game anymore. And what do you know, November 2022 rolls around and Genji gets nerfed again. He was dragged back down to his lowest point. All the damage buffs he had gotten were nowhere to be seen. His ammo capacity had been lowered to its lowest it's ever been again. The whole thing was a cruel joke, and it really, really made me give up hope after everything. I feel like I withstood so much more than I ever should have, just for the passion of Genji. That is to say, Overwatch basically ruined my life. It probably ruined yours for different reasons, but I mourned the loss of what I never had. Anyways, that's all I got. Hit that quite box at gmail.com if you want to give me topics like stories or things you want me to talk about on this channel. Anyways, yeah, um, piss off.